A teenager named Emma takes a dog into the forest and brutally kills it, then hides the body under rocks and casually walks away. The film takes us three weeks earlier, where after her father's demise, 15-year-old Emma, who is navigating high school, lives with her aunt Angela, her husband Robert, and their baby Cade. Emma is practicing to talk like a normal teenager in front of a mirror when her aunt walks in and asks how she is looking as she is going back to work after a long time. Emma assures her she looks nice. Rob calls them for breakfast and it is apparent that Emma isn't happy with the change and says that it was simpler when there was just Emma and her aunt. While driving her to school, Angela tells Emma about the boarding school that she thinks would be good for her and tells her that it was Rob's idea. Emma's hatred for Rob, who is trying to change things, is apparent on her face, but she just smiles. In school, Emma is liked by everyone. Emma seems to be doing really well in her class, and a new girl named Kat gets introduced in their class who keeps staring at Emma. Steph is Emma's bestie, and it is seen that Steph's mom and Emma's aunt are also close friends. They decide to have a slumber party for the kids. Later in school, when they are having dance practice, it is evident that Steph is better than Emma, and the instructor asks Emma for more practice. While walking back home, a guy named Nathan, who seems interested in her, asks to give her a ride, but she tells him that she doesn't live that far. Back home, Rob is teaching Spanish on Zoom while leaving soup on the stove, and the baby is unattended. Emma watches as the baby sneaks out of his crib and crawls to the unfenced pool. She just smiles and walks upstairs. Angela comes home at the right moment and gets mad at Rob, as he was supposed to build a fence around the pool. Rob apologizes as Angela goes back in with the baby, while Rob finds a piece of baby food near the pool. By dinner time, Angela calms down, but Emma has also put salt in the soup that Rob made. Emma asks to order Chinese. The next day, Emma and her friends invite Kat to sit with them, but Kat isn't impressed by Emma's sweet demeanor and rudely declines. At home, Rob finds his lost knife in Emma's draw. When Emma comes back home, they both tell her that Rob has made some calls and gotten Emma accepted into the boarding school they talked about, which isn't easy for anyone. Emma thanks Robert and acts excited in front of them. But when she goes back to her room, she screams into her pillow, obviously frustrated. She then organizes her desk and calms herself down while looking in the mirror. She watches Rob from her window as he is working on his car in the garage. At night, Emma has a nightmare about all the horrible things she has done in the first film, like killing her teacher, her friend, and her dad. She wakes up and chuckles. The next day at school, Kat sits with Emma and her friends. They ask her about her old school, and she informs them that she transferred from Emma's old school. She says that she is sorry about Emma's dad, but Emma says it's fine. Steph invites Kat to the slumber party, which upsets Emma. At home, the baby starts crying while Angela and Rob are making dinner. Angela goes upstairs while Rob's phone rings in his office and he asks Emma to keep an eye on the stove. Emma greases the pan, which sets it on fire. Angela rushes back after hearing the fire alarm, seeing Rob trying to put out the fire. Emma also rushes to the room and puts the fire out. Angela questions Rob about how he could leave it on the stove and he blames Emma, but she says that she went to the bathroom and they start arguing, but Angela stops them and asks to order takeout. In her room, Emma is speaking with her therapist, Dr. March. She tells her that Rob is trying to send her away. The doctor asks her if she has done something to initiate that decision, to which Emma replies with, maybe. The doctor encourages her to solve the problem as she is really good at it. Emma ends the call with a smile, thanking Dr. March. Emma goes over to Rob's garage and offers him a juice box. She thanks him for getting her into the private school and apologizes for forgetting to return his knife when she found it. Rob accepts her apology, but later, while Emma is leaving for the slumber party, the light goes out in his garage and his car falls on him. He hears Emma just walking around the vehicle whistling instead of helping him. Kat also arrives at the party and instantly attacks Emma by telling everyone that Emma once made her trip and stole her watch. Emma denies the accusation with a friendly smile. Kat then brings out cigarettes and they start playing Never Have I Ever. When it's Kat's turn, she says that she has never killed anyone and only Emma takes a drag. Everyone is shocked and asks who she killed, to which Emma replies that she killed her mom when she was born. Back home, a worried Angela goes out to find Robert under his car and panics. Emma is also taken to the hospital by Steph's mother. Robert is badly injured. Emma goes back to his office and takes back the knife. She takes care of the baby and Angela says, 
that we are Grossman's. We rise above. Later, Emma is seen casually cleaning the blood from the garage floor while whistling. When she's done, she gets a call from Nathan asking if she's fine. Then she Googles what should she do if a guy likes her. In the hospital, Rob is out of danger. He asks Angela to get him something to write, and he writes, Emma, with a question mark. Emma goes out to the park where she abducts the dog she killed in the first scene. The dog is Stephanie's, and this incident prevents her from attending the audition for dance team captain. But the girls still vote for Stephanie despite Emma's well-practiced speech. Emma is angry and frustrated. Rob gets back home, and the nurse asks Angela to keep the key to the medicine cabinet with her at all times. Rob seems to have forgotten what happened that night. Emma gives him the baby monitor, pretending to be concerned. Back in school, Kat confronts Emma about all the unfortunate incidents happening around her. Emma denies the claims and provokes Kat into slapping her in front of Nathan, who then tells the teacher, resulting in Kat getting detention. Emma is taken to the nurse's office and is asked to relax. There, Emma finds a key. And the scene cuts to Angela and Emma watching a movie where Emma plays the victim and tells Angela about her altercation with Kat. Angela promises to take care of it. In the office, Angela calls the school and demands that they call Kat's parents and take care of the matter. Steph's mom enters the room and tells Angela that they see a young woman in the video taking their dog away, but couldn't determine who it was. Back at school, Emma sends Steph a flashy message that triggers her epilepsy, and while she is having a seizure, Emma deletes the message. Meanwhile, Angela gets the security footage and quickly recognizes Emma. Just then, Steph's mom comes by, saying that something happened at school. Steph is then taken to the hospital, where she passes away. Angela confronts Emma about the footage and asks if she did something to Steph. Emma says that she let the dog out because she wanted to be the dance captain and Steph made her angry. She thought they'd find the dog, but she didn't know this would happen. Angela then hugs her, saying that it's okay. The next day, the nurse takes Rob out near the pool area to get some fresh air. A sudden crash makes the woman go back inside to see the broken medicine cabinet. Emma comes out with her drink and the nurse asks her to bring Rob back inside while she takes care of things. Emma pretends to call Nathan and talks while Rob is feeling cold. He constantly tries to get her attention, but she ignores him, facing away from him. Meanwhile, Angela is looking up antisocial personality disorder and its symptoms as she becomes aware of Emma's capability of doing a lot worse. Back home, Rob tries to get back into the wheelchair himself and screams when he gets hurt. The nurse comes back, mad at Rob for being so stubborn. While the nurse is strolling Rob back inside, Emma starts whistling, reminding Rob about the night he got pinned by his car. Back inside, Emma brings Rob the leftovers and he confronts her, saying she couldn't fool him. Emma breaks the mask and asks what he'll do about it. He says that he'll stay silent for his wife's happiness as long as Emma goes to the boarding school and stays away from his family. Emma goes to her aunt's room, opens her laptop, and finds out that she's looking up personality disorders. Emma then gives a test that determines her as a psychopath. In the morning, Angela returns with a teddy bear that has a camera in it and places it in Rob's room. She tells him that she's taken the baby to see an old family friend and will be back in a few hours. She goes to Emma's hometown to see the sheriff who shot Emma's father in the last film. She asks him if her brother said anything unusual before what happened. He tells her that her brother told him that there was something wrong with Emma and that he had to protect her from herself. Hearing this, Angela is sure about Emma and rushes back home. Meanwhile, Emma puts the bear away and steals the nurse's phone. She doesn't answer when Angela calls. Emma calls Kat and convinces her to come over. She also calls for Nathan to come over. When Kat gets there, Emma offers her hot chocolate. They talk as Kat gives her relationship advice. Emma also confesses everything. When Kat starts to doze off, Emma tells her that she has mixed all the medicine she could find in the cup. Emma calls 911 and cries for help, saying that a girl is in their house starting a fire and hangs up. She then deletes the recording that Kat had on. Emma is proud of being a psycho. Rob wakes up to hear baby Kay crying. He wheels around looking for Emma or Angela, but doesn't find them. He manages to get himself up the stairs to the baby's room, only to realize that it's just an audio clip of the baby crying. Meanwhile, Emma has started a fire in the kitchen that is spreading really fast. She places the gasoline jug in Kat's hands and leaves Rob to burn. Angela comes back home, calls Emma a monster and a liar before rushing in to save Robert, but she is not able to make it outside. As the police arrive, along with Nathan, 
Emma holds Kate in her arms, playing victim yet again. A social worker tells Emma that a woman is ready to take care of her. Emma urges her to not separate Kate from her, as he is the only family she has left. The woman assures her that she'll take care of it. Emma says that they'll be all right, as they are Grossman's, and they rise above. If you want to watch more on Movie Shortens, click on our next videos and playlist on the screen. Thanks for watching.